Hello everybody in Margonan. Jen Dobre, my name is Ian Sands. I'm, I'm looking very much forward to playing the festival on Saturday night. Um, tonight at the club here, we're just having an informal blues session. So at the start, we did part of our set, which we'll play on Saturday night, just to introduce people to the music that we do. But we have just finished the first half, had lots of fun, and the audience really enjoyed. And the next half now, we're going to have local musicians who are going to join in. We're going to play everything from traditional blues to Jimi Hendrix and Pink Floyd and all the fun stuff. So, which we can't normally do at a blues festival. Um, very special privilege for me now. My son James, who is the lead guitarist, he's only 17, and he's exceptionally talented. Uh, in a couple of years time I think he'll be very famous. This is my second time in Poland. Uh, last year I toured with the Chaz de Palo band and we were in, in Krosno and Varka and we played in lots of culture centres and really really happy times. Uh, so I'm very very happy to be back in Poland again and I'm looking forward to very much having really good fun with the, the band here for the second half. You can hear my son tuning up now so we are about to start so Thank you, Jean Pierre and Dubranov. Dubranov? Yes. Um, but we, yeah. we had a very big problem with finding you in the internet. Oh, we only yes. find um, my, my, my space, uh, okay, profile, just a little bit. and um, Facebook. And okay. It's, uh, um, it's well, very difficult. Over the last couple of days, mm -hmm. I got people in Ireland to upload some videos on YouTube. So, if you look up Ian Sands live at the Armagh Theatre, mm -hmm. you will see two songs, say a Stormy Monday and Every Day I Have the Blues. There's also a live recording from the Suvalki Blues Festival there as well. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, we don't like to record, we rather just to go play. out and, and play because mm -hmm. I find the studio is very, very hard to capture the atmosphere that you would have at a live gig because the studio is very much too um, too much like planned whereas with blues it's just how it is on the night you know if you have a good crowd and people are into the music that you do some nights it could be very much you know very much up tempo and people dancing other nights people just want to sit and listen and just chill out so we just they're listening to the people and we play what the people want to hear, you know, and it could be some of my own material or some of the music of the, the area. People may like it to be very traditional or they may like it to be like very much rocking Chicago Texas blues. So yeah, we don't mind. Uh, we heard that you have prepared many festivals. Many blues festivals, yes. and we also heard that uh, you don't have uh, the people doesn't pay for the tickets, right? Uh, well, the, 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 the culture has changed in in Ireland. Uh, uh -huh. I, I used to live in Belfast. I uh, used to be an, air, an aircraft engineer, and then I moved to a place called Warren Point because my children were little, and I wanted to take them out of the big city. Uh -huh. So when I moved there, there was no blues, no live music, so I created a new festival called the Guinness Blues on the Bay Festival. And uh, the website is bluesonthebay.com. And the first year there were 20 gigs, and this year there was 90. In the early years we had Van Morrison, uh, Peter Green from Fleetwood Mac, Otis Grant, you know, lots of things. Uh, but over the last few years, because everything is free, people do not like to pay in anymore. So three years ago, I created. Excuse me, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Is it? <laughs> sorry, but we're nearly finished. Um, three years ago, I um, started a blues cruise. So we had a, a tall ship, and we did a big cruise with music and food. So it's been very, very good. But we. If you go to my website, bluesinthebed.com, I do it in my spare time and it's lots, lots of really good stuff, good restaurants, it's right on the coast and it's a really, really good festival, bluesinthebed.com, definitely recommend. Uh, we just hope that yeah. uh, the supporters uh, at the Saturday uh, will 
understand the blues. So. Oh, I will chill out a yeah. bit. Well, no matter where I play, I always look at the audience and if they, if they don't appreciate, then we try something different and something different. So, so I've got to play now, so... Okay, thank so, you very much. So, thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Good luck. Cheers.